What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We're showing you today another cool old school car going back to the year 2001. Wow! We're talking almost 20 years old but the Chevy Corvette still today is a popular American sports car. They sure have changed a whole lot over the years compared to back then later than that and even now the 2019 and then they're getting ready to come out with the mid-engine version of the Corvette probably in 2020. They've already spied them and seen them on the streets but one thing's for sure if you're a Corvette fan a lover of vets like my mom was with her eight Corvettes throughout her lifetime God rest her soul let me tell you folks here's a chance to get an 01 with 130,000 miles on it for a pretty decent price. Stay with us. everybody let's go ahead and get the car review for sale video started here today again we're at Rogers Enterprises also Rogers Wranglers looking at this 2001 Corvette you know pretty good looking car right I mean it's got the pop-up headlights the white paint and it's also a soft top convertible with the black top that I actually just laid down so you can see it without the convertible drop down and we'll also show you what it looks like but the top is in really nice shape just so you know because everybody wants to know how is the top has it got any rips tears all that is it faded it's actually in pretty good shape anyways this one's got the chrome wheels and i'll walk around and let's take a look at it now again you got to remember folks this is a used vehicle that's pushing almost 20 years old so it may have some imperfections here or there the whole body on the car if i'm not correct here is fiberglass okay so it's definitely a car you want to be extremely safe in when traveling on those highways out there because fiberglass you know where i'm getting at here so i don't have to get into that but beautiful you know what sports car isn't a bit dangerous at times when going down the road any car can be dangerous even your toyota camry so the front end though Wow, nice and smooth. The body's in good shape. Um, you got your Corvette logo kind of on this plate right up in here. Then the logo there. You can see it definitely has had some deterioration going on on the logo in the front over time. It's cracked and all that. Okay, so, you know, if I bought this vet, I probably would redo some things, have it repainted, freshen up a lot of the stuff on it, and really bring the life back out of it. And I think that's kind of what you're going to be able to do with this car once you buy it is really just, you know, take a car that that's not in bad shape, but in pretty decent shape, and then make it into excellent condition. Take it to the shows and have a good time with it cruising around town here in the Carolinas. So you got your five-star chrome Corvette wheels. Looking pretty good. I've always said you can't go wrong with five stars. Also have your cross-drilled and slotted rotors behind the rims. Your red Corvette uh, calipers there. BF Goodrich tires. Now, of course, the tires are not brand new, and uh, they have some tread left, but you're probably going to want to put a new set of tires on this car, some new shoes on it, uh, sooner or later after purchasing it. But the body's looking good. It sits so low to the ground. I, I remember my mom saying that when she was in her 40s. Oh, man, these cars, they're just so low to the ground, right? But people still don't care about that too much. They love driving them. There's your gas cap here. You got this little thing going on down there. Of course, the, uh, the tires in the back are going to be a lot wider than the ones in the front because it is rear-wheel drive. Um, also, a little bit thicker tire in the back. And I think, if I'm correct here, you also have bigger rims in the back. you got 18s in the front, and I'm pretty sure these are 17s, or no, 18s in the back, 17s in the front. That's right. So a 245-45ZR17 and a... 27540ZR18. So here's the rear end of the Chevy Corvette. Man, those iconic taillights. That iconic wide rear end, it really just makes a bold and sexy kind of statement. You got your quad exhaust tips in the back. Yeah. And uh, you got your reverse lights right there in the middle. And again, man, just nice big wide rear end with those wide tires. Man, it does make a bold statement. And man, this is pure Americana right here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this is American. The Chevy Corvette. Logo in the back looks pretty good still. Again, the car needs a really good 
bath right now. It needs a good wax job on it. The interior needs to get really cleaned up. The dealerships had this vehicle here for quite some time. Uh, I'm talking about, they've had it for a while um, and haven't been able to seem to sell it. And uh, so I have decided today to go ahead and film this car, get it on camera and do what I do with it. And maybe I can sell this car, right? Isn't that the name of the game? Is for Mr. Chad to give a chance and try to sell a beautiful American classic Corvette. So if I can sell it, man, wouldn't that be a great feeling to sell this vet that's been sitting here for a while? Nobody else has been able to do it. Let's give Chad a shot, right? So that's what I'm trying to do. Anyway, so I'm letting you see it right now in its current state. I didn't take it back to detail, get it washed or anything. I want you to see how it is if you were to walk on the lot today and take a look at it, okay? Anyways, you got the back back here, right? And uh, this part right here actually opens up and that is where your black convertible top sits down in. The seats are actually in really good shape. You got this nice kind of grayish topish color leather in here. And as you'll see with them seats, no, no rips, no tears, none of that kind of stuff going on with your seat on the passenger side. Um, windshield's in good shape. We're going to pop the hood here in just a moment because I know everybody wants to see that big old V8. I'm actually going to go ahead and hit the headlight button and pop those up too. The pop-up lights, man, they really have some uh, curb appeal about them, you know? Uh, a car with pop-up lights, boom, I mean, it just kind of says the 1980s, 1990s, even though this is a 2001, still rocking pop-up lights back in the day, and uh, still got them in 2001. Anyways, uh, let's see here, let's see if I can get those headlights to come on. Click here and click there, and okay, well, I, can... I definitely clicked it. Not getting much uh, headlight action, but anyways, we'll get in real quick and see how that is. Again, very low to the ground. You got power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, which all work. Bose stereo system from back in 2001. Your driver's side seat, in really good shape. Look at that, nice looking seat there. Carpets are in good condition. Oh yeah, it's, it's low. Um, there's your steering wheel. Uh, let's see how many miles is on the Corvette. Ooh -wee. I'll tell you one thing, folks. The seat is extremely hot. It's over 95 degrees today. Um, let's see what we can find on here. It does got a tire pressure monitor system on. It's letting me know I got a low tire right now. Uh, brake before shift. I understand that. Um, anyways, I'm come on. I'm trying to see what the miles are on this bad boy. And uh, there's a little computer down there, an MID, a multi-information display, to uh, tell us some of that stuff. Um, oh, 135,260 on the mile. It's really not bad for no one, 135,260. But there's your gauge. It's right there. Steering wheel still in great shape, leather wrapped. It's not all worn out on the top parts or the bottoms or the sides, so that's good. You have an automatic transmission, of course. Aftermarket shifter here, you push down on that to put it in gear. Um, you have uh, AC does work, okay? Just so you know, I'm gonna go ahead and click one of these buttons here. And uh, yep, I hear the compressor clicking on and off up there and the AC is blowing cold. So that's a positive thing. Um, the radio is locked right now because I had to jump the car off today with the jump starter. Uh, it has been sitting for a while, so it needed a jump start, but once I got it cranked up, it's good to go. But yeah, you're gonna have to press a code in on here to get that going. Um, it, and the code should be somewhere right over here or in the manuals. Um, E-brake here, uh, cup holder there. You know, no true race car or sports car is gonna have big cup holders in it. So you got them small little cup holder. That's hardly gonna hold a, a super-sized cup at, at all. Um, you have active handling button here to cut off the traction control so you can get a little sideways when going around corners. You have a lock here. You can lock that and press this to get into there, which doesn't really open up all the way. It's kind of squeaky, which this reminds me of American cars. You know, a lot of plastics and squeaky stuff. Power outlet, uh, gas button thing there. Another little 12 volt over there. Uh, you got your Corvette logo here, your mirror there, this here. So. You're seeing it. Let's go ahead and uh, pop the hood and have a look under there. Oh man, that cold AC is doing a good job, but we're gonna cut it off for a minute. And we're gonna grab here and pop the hood. So stay with us, we'll be right back. So your hood on your vet actually opens up like this and just about anybody that's into Corvettes knows that one, right? And there's your engine. It is a 5.7 liter. V8 by GM. It's a great motor. They used them for a very long time and 
you know, in these vets. And uh, this motor definitely is going to haul butt down the road. Probably, I don't know the exact horsepower rating, but we'll put it on the screen. But it's got to be over 300, I would assume. Um, if it's in the fours, I'll be really surprised. But um, anyways, very clean under here. Runs good, quiet. It's got a little squeak of some sort. It sounds to me like maybe one of the belts or pulleys under there. Because uh, when the AC is on, it squeaks just a little bit louder. Um, but... Your, uh, your engine is, man, man, it's a massive motor. That intake manifold running right on through here. And then you got your air box right in the front. Um, you can see there, it's got on there, uh, uh, breathless performance products, Vortex Ram Air. So you got that. Your battery actually sits right here, nice and snug right on down there. And um, again, all fiberglass. But battery, it actually looks to be a brand new battery in here, so probably just need a little jump start due to just sitting here for a while. But engine's running good. Looks like they even had a light under there from back in the day and the padding and all. And this is a very important thing to have on a vet. If you get in an accident, this can help. It's a deterrent for the fire, okay? If this engine catches on fire, this is going to help as much as it can to put out the fire. So another great thing to have on your vet. But there's the engine, and uh, we'll let you hear it run. A little bit more here shortly and uh, yeah so definitely can use a good wash though all right we'll be back in a minute folks and we'll finish up this review and maybe even take it on the street all right everybody we got the Corvette uh, ready to take it for a drive so man it's been a while since I've driven a Corvette and uh, Anyways, we're just going to run it down the road real quick and see how she feels. It needs to, to, to run down the road anyways because uh, the battery, which looks new, but it's still uh, needing, it's needing a, a little extra boost. So uh, maybe maybe just drive in a mile or so down the road will help that out. So anyways, uh, I'm six foot one, got plenty of leg room in here. Actually, more than enough leg room I think I could do to have the seat a little more forward. I'm not a fan though of all the plastic inside of, inside of the vet. You would think uh, you'd think it would have. You would. Ah, I'm gonna put my camera right here if I can get it there. You would think that Chevrolet would have done a little better job with the fit and finish of their vehicles, um, as in without so many plastics. The, uh, the seat over here, and it's power, yeah. But they're kind of, uh, yeah, they're, man. Anyways, yeah, a lot of, a lot of plastic. Okay, here we go. So let's, let's see how she rides today and Man, you talking about hot? I mean, it is hot right now in Charleston. Let's see how she rides. You know, with the amount of Dodge Challengers and Chargers and Mustangs and Camaros on the road, you would think that uh, somebody would, you know, we we'll grab this Corvette up kind of quick. Feels good. Um, you know, first initial uh, pulling off onto the road feels smooth. Um, I don't feel a whole lot of vibration or anything like that in the steering wheel. The uh, climate feels okay. I mean, it's definitely uh, low to the ground, which I like. It feels great just sitting nice and low and. And it feels good just driving a convertible, you know? That's, I think, the uh, the nice thing about Charleston. It's such a beautiful place to live at on the East Coast. And, you know, you can really take advantage of owning a convertible driving around this city. You don't have to worry about blind spots too much. I mean, not with a convertible. I mean, you can look all around all you like, man. This has got to be fun. Now, I really, you know, I really realized why my mom really loved Corvettes so much. They, they're good looking. They're American, and uh, and they're, they got to be fun to drive. So, 
let's uh, let's give it a little gas here and see how she feels. Oh yeah. I mean the exhaust sounds pretty good too for a factory exhaust back then. Well, if you're interested in possibly buying this Corvette, come stop by the dealership and take a look at it and drive it for yourself. Um, the dealership's just literally right across from the Charleston Air Force Base out here. And, um, yeah. Not bad, the old Corvette. motor. I mean, it really does got some kick to it, boy, when you hit that gas pedal. You definitely got to make sure when you're pulling into the parking lots and stuff that you kind of make a kind of a wide turn when going over things because it sits so low to the ground. Also, when you're getting close to a curb or something like that, you want to be kind of, you know, careful with that as well. Man, it's definitely a sweet ride, though. Definitely looking pretty sweet though. Wow, what a beautiful car, the Vets. So, I know a lot of y'all probably wondering, you know, what's the price on the Vet, right? What's the price, Chad, on a, on a 2001 Corvette with 136,000 miles? Well, the current price that the dealership is asking is $12,990. $12,990. Um, if you need financing and you want to finance in-house, you have to put a couple thousand dollars down and uh, you can finance it in-house in the dealership here and just pay your payments bi-weekly every two weeks on the vet. According to my sheet, they got a down payment on there, so you could finance it at the dealership. But if you want, just go to your loan, go to your local bank, credit union, Navy Federal, USAA, whatever it is, and uh, you know, Get a loan for around 13,000 bucks, you should be good to go, and you could be driving this cool, classic 2001 Chevy Corvette. What do you think, right? Yeah, what do you think? So, anyways, man, what a cool car. I, I like Corvettes, I really do. And um, I like to own one myself, you know? It'd be fun to just drive this bad boy around town a little bit, show off a little bit, right? Uh, isn't that what it's all about at some point when you drive a sports car, to show off and have a little fun? Yeah. So let's get back in and drive her back down the street. Huh. So what do y'all think? Have you had a vet before? Let us know in the comments section if you have had a Corvette or maybe you got a Corvette now or maybe you got one at the house sitting in the garage. Let us know. You know what you think about your Corvette. What's your favorite vet? And um, let's rev it up a little bit. Hear that exhaust. Sounds good. But yeah, what is your favorite American sports car? Is it the Vet? Is it the Mustang? Is it the Dodge Challenger? Um, you know, there's so many choices. The Camaro. Anyways. And uh, nowadays, some people are enjoying driving Teslas. <laughs> you know? They say those Teslas are even faster than a Corvette, right? I've seen some videos of them Teslas whooping up on uh, Nissan GTRs and Challenger Demons and Hellcats and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, electric vehicles are, uh, I think over the next uh, 10 years here, I, I think electric cars are going to really start kind of taking over the marketplace, at least in the bigger cities. Um, they just don't have enough charging stations around right now for uh, electric car drivers. Uh, they're actually installing, uh, Tesla is installing one here in Charleston currently right now. And uh, some of the parking garages downtown have, you know, areas to charge your electric car at. But I think that's gonna be the main thing that's gonna have to happen is they're gonna have to have more charging stations 
in rural areas and all types of areas to really be able to uh, you know capitalize on on electric cars and that's that's not even just Tesla I mean that's Toyota Honda any company that's making an electric car they're gonna have to have charging stations so it'll happen and it'll one day one day when I'm an old man with even more gray hair you know there'll probably be a charging station start charging station on just about any street corner like there is a gas station or gas stations will have charging stations but uh, they gotta charge them quick, you know? I mean, right now you can go and fill your car up with gas and be at the pump for seven minutes or something like that and fill your car up with gas. I mean, nobody wants to sit there at a, at a place for 45 minutes waiting for their car to charge up. And uh, yeah, so something's gotta happen with that side of it. They gotta, gotta have to have a faster charge at least 10 minutes. I think people could do 10 or 15 minutes hanging out at the gas station, but there will not be probably any, uh, you know, go in, pay, and come back out and you're done. I don't even know how the pay part works with charging at this particular moment. I mean, if you got a Tesla or an electric car, do you just get to go into the charging station and if there's no charge at all, you just charge it up? There's got to be some kind of price associated with it. But anyways, that has nothing to do with the vet here, but Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you're enjoying some of the car videos that we're doing. I know uh, a lot of y'all really want me to get out there and do more new car reviews, but right now, just doing what I got to do to keep things rolling for me and my family. So that's the most important thing. Peace out. Have a great day, and thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next clip.